What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost and the Cyberpunk 2077 disaster is not yet over for CD Projekt Red. Their stock is in free fall as every day something else happens. We had the surprise last night of Sony announcing that they are pulling Cyberpunk 2077 from their store and offering full refunds. Well now it's Xbox's turn to respond today and Microsoft did exactly that. Take a look uh, from IGN. Breaking Xbox is also offering full refunds for anyone who purchased Cyberpunk 2077 digitally. So now, if you bought this game digitally, which a lot of people did, we are in the middle of a global pandemic after all, you are eligible for a full refund on both PlayStation and Xbox. No strings attached, simply fill out the form and they will get it to you. That's what they're saying, at least. If this doesn't tell you how badly broken these console launches were, I, I don't know what else can clue you in. There are still some people that are defending them that are still some people that are saying it's being blown out of proportion well now you have sony who never does anything like this ever pulling the game from their store offering full refunds xbox follows up and does the same exact thing now again this comes after that crazy news we got last night sony is pulling cyberpunk 2077 from the playstation store and offering full refunds now cd project red di didn't make an update after that, let's see what they said. We haven't responded about the Xbox store yet, but here's what they said about PlayStation. Following our discussion with PlayStation, a decision was made to temporarily suspend digital distribution of Cyberpunk 2077 on the PlayStation store. You can still buy physical versions of the game in brick and mortar stores and online. Don't worry, if you want to buy this game that is so broken that PlayStation refuses to sell it, you can. Just go to the store and buy one for yourself. Then you can't return it to that store. You can even Email us and we might get back to you. That's the situation I'm in right now. That's what I'm having to do with my PlayStation 4 copy. I had been playing it on PC, but I also got this as well. Not able to return it to the store. I've yet to hear back from CD Projekt Red. They'd say, well, don't worry, we'll get to you by the end of the year. I sure hope so, but at this point, they might not be able to afford refunds for these things. So then after that, after the fallout from all of that, you see what happened to CD Projekt's red stock. It had been rallying a little bit over the past couple days from that initial drop-off, but now it's right back down. Look at over one month. This is right before the release. Since then, look at that. 30 35% drop in their stock number. Absolutely terrible situation for CD Projekt Red right now. And we got told that they're not discussing or removing Cyberpunk from the Xbox digital store, which means that was completely a PlayStation decision. Or else they would be having the conversation with both of them. We have seen both cases for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, the terrible, terrible performance for both of them. And then it turns out just a couple hours after that statement, Xbox expanding refund policy to allow for Cyberpunk 2077 returns. And unlike Sony, Microsoft does not appear to be removing Cyberpunk from its online store. This is an insane thing. We've never seen anything like this. We've never seen to this level. And the reason that this is happening, in a lot of people's opinions, is because they were so deceptive the entire time. CD Projekt Red lied to you all to get your money. That is what happened. There are still people trying to say, well, CD Projekt Red is different. We should trust CD Projekt Red. They lied to your face for years and this is only the beginning since there is so much anger and vitriol right now at the executives and the pr people the people that really uh, were the ones to precipitate these lies there is so much anger right now at cd project red over their deceptive practices <laughs> after their ceo literally telling everyone that it runs surprisingly well right with them not showing, right? Not allowed to have people show any of their gameplay, not allowing people to review this game on console before. It's very clear that this was CD Projekt Red's plan all along. And now, even their employees, even the CDPR employees are freaking out right now at their executives because they realize, the developers themselves realize that there wasn't enough time to make this game. I have been talking for months about the leaks we have been getting from CD Projekt Red. And because they come from Jason Schreier, no one wants to listen to them. Because let's face it, Jason Schreier is, is a fucking bitch. A lot of people hate this guy. But you can't deny that he has some very close connections. That he has done a lot of these exposés on these people, these developers. They don't want to hear it when it comes to CD Projekt Red though. 
Well, now you should start listening. Employees have been speaking out for months about this and everyone got told, oh no, that, that can't be true. See, Project Red's incredible. Cyberpunk Game Maker faces hostile staff after failed launch. Rebellion is in the air at Polish video game publisher CD Projekt after the company's highly anticipated and thrice delayed latest title was released to scathing reviews about glitches. Frustrated and angry staff fired questions at the board during an internal video meeting Thursday that opened with management apologizing. Here are the biggest things. Here are the biggest takeaways. During Cyberpunk 2077's development, staff endured multiple periods of extensive overtime, including the mandatory six-day weeks to finish the game. When asked about the crunch time in the Q&A, the directors said they had plans to improve production practices, but they didn't elaborate. Same thing that they have said before. One employee was asked, asked the board why it had said in January that the game was, quote, complete and playable when that wasn't true. When the board the board answered, we'll take responsibility. Another dev asked whether CD Projekt's directors felt it was hypocritical to make a game about corporate exploitation while experiencing their employees' work overtime. The response was vague and non-committal. Many industry observers have wondered why Cyberpunk 2077, which was first announced in 2012 and was delayed three times in 2021, still appears to be unfinished. Several current and former staff who worked on Cyberpunk have all said the same thing. The game's deadlines set by the vo board of directors were always unrealistic. It was clear to many of the devs that they needed more time. These are the things that I have been talking about for months in the lead up to this game. The things that I said, listen, I'm excited to play Cyberpunk, but something tells me something's wrong. It's very clear that the game is not near as finished as they want you to believe it is. This is Jason Trier tweeting it out, and a lot of people are obviously hopping onto this and responding to that. Look at what Razor Fist pulls up. CD Projekt employees tried to warn us. These were employee reviews about working for CD Projekt Red when they said, hey, listen, you'll meet some nice people there, but the management has no direction for us. They're contradictory at times. They don't know anything about gaming. They're only focused on getting this product out there. Sounds similar to Anthem, doesn't it? It literally sounds exactly like what happened with Anthem. The mismanagement and the people having no idea what direction they wanted to go to when it came to this game, only focused on the release date. Same thing, several, uh, several comments about employees leaving these. But no, people didn't want to listen. People wanted to trust and believe in CD Projekt Red. And now we're at the state we are now where Sony has pulled the game from its store, offered full refunds. Xbox is offering full refunds. What a mess this is going to be. And this is all because, this is all because as we talked about before, CD Projekt Red didn't talk to Sony or Xbox, Microsoft, before telling everyone to go get a refund from them. Thinking that, well, they've got their own things. They'll take care of it they probably won't refund too many of them we know that people won't be able to go to stores and return them so we'll have people go through us we'll probably get a couple done to, to say hey look we we try the best we can to give you a refund they probably had no idea that this was going to be the end result the discussion they had with sony was probably sony calling up and said why the fuck did you give us this broken game and why the fuck did you just tell everyone to refund it Go fuck yourselves. We're giving them all their money back and we're taking your shit down. Xbox has been more closely linked with Cyberpunk kind of all the way through. A lot of these ads you've seen have been targeted specifically for Xbox. So it's not really a surprise to me that they left it up in their store. Now that's the digital console exclusive. But as CD Projekt Red said, don't worry. You can still go buy the physical copies that don't work. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments below. One thing I will say... I feel really bad for the developers who knew this game wasn't ready, who who likely put so much time and energy into this game, and unfortunately were led astray by the executives, this board of directors who had no idea what they were doing and just wanted to get your money. Let me know all your thoughts, smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons, I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.